Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Yusuf Shakil and you are watching jQuery tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to chain methods in jQuery. And guys, all the code that we'll write in this video, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. And you will find the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com. All the links will be in the video description, so please check that out. And guys, if you haven't already, then please subscribe my channel and click on that bell icon so that you will get an update whenever I upload a new video. All right, let's get started. So I've opened the project folder jQuery-project in Sublime Text. And inside the project folder, I have created a new file chaining-methods.html and I've written the following code. And inside the JS folder, I have created a new file chaining-methods.js and now, We'll go ahead and open this HTML file in Chrome. So we'll open the project folder and we'll open the chaining-methods.html file. And we'll also open the dev tools. So we'll go to view, developer, and we'll select the developer tools. And we'll go inside the console tab, which is empty. That means we don't have any error. All right, so let's say inside the body, we have an h1 tag and the text is hello world and let's say we give this element an id let's say sample dash heading so if we save the file go back to chrome and reload we get the hello world now if we want to select this element having id sample dash heading then in jquery we write dollar bracket and we pass the ID. So we'll write hash because we are using ID and then the value of that ID, which is sample dash heading. So by writing this, we have selected this element having ID sample dash heading. So what is chaining of method? Well, if we call a method for this element and then we call another method for the same element, then we are chaining methods. So when can we do the chaining of methods? Well, if a method returns a jQuery object, then we can chain methods. And we have already seen and used method chaining in our previous videos. So in this video, we are going to target this element that is h1 heading having id sample dash heading and we are going to style this text. So let's say we want to change the font size of this heading to let's say 24 pixels. So in order to do that, we call the CSS method and we want to change the font size to 24 pixels. So we'll set the font size property to 24 pixels. And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we see that the font size of the heading has changed. Similarly, we can set the font size to some other value, let's say 64 pixels. So now if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get the font size for this heading as 64 pixels. Now, if we want to change the background color of this heading to let's say light yellow, then we can write dollar and we can select the element and then we can write dot CSS and then we can set the background color property to light yellow. And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome, and reload, we get a light yellow background color for this heading. Now let's say we want to make this heading center aligned. So we can again select that element by ID and set the text align property to center. And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get the heading at the center. So we are targeting the element and then we are setting the font size 64 pixels then we are setting the background color 
to light yellow. And finally, we are setting the text align property to center. So this is one way of styling the element. Now we can solve this same problem in a different format by simply chaining the CSS method. So let me go ahead and comment this. And we are discussing the chaining method. So now let's say we want to do the same thing that is set the font size to 64 pixels, background color to light yellow and text align center. But this time we want to do it by chaining method. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we see that the styles are now removed. So we are now going to apply the style to the element. So we'll select the element by ID and now we'll chain the CSS method to it. So we'll first set the font size to 64 pixels and we can bring this to the next line. And then we can again write dot CSS and we can set the background color to light yellow. Then in the next line, we can again call CSS and set the text align to center and then finally semicolon. So we are chaining the CSS method to this element having ID sample dash heading. So now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we again get the same result. So this is chaining of method. We can even add other methods to this chain, let's say dot text. So the dot text method helps us to either set or get the text of that element. So at this moment, the text of this heading is hello world, but let's say we want to change the text to high. So we can set the value high within double quotes or single quotes. So now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get high. So we target the element, then we apply some style rules using the CSS method, and then we change the text by using the text method. Now we are calling CSS method three times, and there is a shortcut for that as well. So let us go ahead and comment this. And the shortcut is that we select the element, and then we call the CSS, and we pass an object and the object will have some key value pairs. So we want to set the font size to 64 pixels. We want to set the background color to let's say light yellow. We want to center align the text. So we'll set the text align to center. And we also want to change the text to let's say hi. So now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we again get the same output. So this is an example of method chaining. So we can select the element and call the method several times or we can select the element once and chain the method. And in both the cases, we'll get the same output. But this is a compact form because we are chaining the methods. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I will post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com. And all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the links in the video description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. And guys, don't forget to click that bell icon so that you will get an update whenever I upload a new video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.